Eat a Twinkie when a sandwich. No, 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 Spoiler alert. Welcome to episode 152 of Thanks for Watching. It just made me think Hooray. of a 52 card pickup, which is not, oh. it's, I, yeah, it's so weird, but we're at 152 cards. That's a lot of uh, cards. National game of older brothers trying to mess with the younger siblings. <laughs> well, in, in my respect, it was older uncles. Mm. Yeah, so crazy. Yeah. Anyhow. Anyway, hey, welcome to Monday, April 26th. Uh, it is. Yeah, it's LV426 day. Yes, it, it is. <laughs> it's the day you know after Mother, is. Father, Death Day. Hmm? Do you know what LV426 day is? LV426 mm. day? I don't. I do not. The, do you remember a little planet called LV426 that Ripley landed on to oh. find out oh. xenomorphs? Okay, yeah, it does, mm. don't go there. Mm-hmm. Terrible idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bad idea. Okay. Good movie though. That's true. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deny that. Well hey, I'm DJ. I'm Beth. And I'm still Joe. Yay! <laughs> Welcome. Continuingly. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Joe in a continuing fashion. Yep. That's right. He will be uh what what's the word for it? Uh, still Joe. Still Joe. I don't know. That's good. That's good. Consistent. Ah, there we ah. go. Whew. Is. Yikes. Well, let me be a teacher. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> it's going to be great. It'll DJ be. got a job, guys. DJ got fine. a job be... as a teacher. <laughs> yeah, yes. You're molding our youth with Weird Al quotes. Oh, my gosh. I've already written so many lessons with Weird Al in it. It's going to be so Link awesome. Wiener sandwiches for the masses. Are you teaching <laughs> middle school? No, no. It's going to be high school. Oh, God. I know. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. It'll be fun. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. That'll, that'll be good. Yeah. How was your all weekend? Joe, you're getting some homemade pizza? Yep. We, uh, Crackhead Blue is currently making pizza. Oh. It is not a new hobby. She has been making homemade pizzas for quite some time now. We've gone through some different iterations of techniques and or toppings and or... Yep, that. And um, it's good, man. It always comes out great. We got a pizza stone that she heats up for an hour in the oven and then nice. we slap it on that bad boy and that's how you get the crispy bottom yeah wow. yeah homemade homemade crust the whole works that sounds, sounds so like good to me oh it my is God. good uh, you have my address feel free to send me some pizza <laughs> <laughs> um beth you don't travel enough i think you should head down there well like well in three we or like um like five Six weeks, I can. Cool. I was uh, today. I was uh, at a meeting, and I was mm -hmm. working in the, at this meeting. And you don't travel them enough. I <laughs> poop on you, DJ. I know directly. Directly. Ow. The no, nerve. No boy. No. <laughs> you started that. Go ahead. I continue did. Your story. I did. No, I was. Uh, I was at this uh, work meeting, and um, the 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 main person turned to this other person and says, Hey, have you been vaccinated? And, and I was like, yes, yes. And so the lead person t then turned to me, which is out of the norm. Like they don't really talk to me, if you know what I mean. Um, and right. asked if I had been vaccinated and I was like, heck yeah. And so this person of, of, uh, of knowledge and higher stature says, good. We're all taking off our masks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! Which was fine. Like I felt comfortable doing it because we've yeah, all yeah. been vaccinated, and I yep. mean, I really trust that this guy had been, so we're good. Um, but it was weird too, like being in a room with other people that were sort of like strangers. Yeah, people you don't really, really know. Yes, mm -hmm. and not having my mask on. Yeah. Like seeing a whole face. Yes, I mean, it was like wearing a kilt for the first time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so much breeze in places that it hasn't been. This exactly. feels weird. <laughs> right? So, yeah. 
<laughs> anyhow, that was that was really fun. Um, cool. Yeah. But uh, what else have y'all been doing? Beth? I've been working. Working. You work this weekend? Boo. I work all the time. I, I heard the um, dog sound stuff didn't work out so well with you. Yeah, DJ had given me a link for his dog calming Spotify list. Oh, right, right. I remember you it, guys talking about that. It did not work for what? the dogs at work. Because the dogs at work, the ones that I want to calm, are too wacky to Too hear. unruly what is happening yeah like from my phone they're like it's raining who gives a crap i'm barking yeah yeah so and you're in an echo chamber too right so yes i'm in a warehouse <laughs> so it just yeah they can't hear any of that then nothing yeah and i was like well it was a good idea yeah uh, yeah if i could play it right now so elfie would come can down, you blare it like ideal. through the warehouse somehow hmm? um i mean my phone Blast but is there like a pretty effective? No, is there like a like an overhead sort no. of sound, like a PA system, system or? Yeah. No, 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 not yet. All right, darn. They should you invest in that. Box. It'll make work so we much more fun. Just put like some soundproofing stuff on the walls. Yeah, just so it deadens the sound a little bit. No kidding. Holy moly! But I don't. I mean, clearly I complain. Excuse well, me, my dog is complaining. Elfie. Uh, and I don't know if it's working for us. Like, as it turns out, the little chihuahua that's been absolutely nuts is uh, on Still her nuts? cycle, <laughs> so on to her, speak. On her what? <laughs> on her cycle. She's in heat. And oh. so she's very calm at this point. And I don't know if it's the music that we're playing, but we're not giving up on that. <laughs> um, that's <laughs> not normal. That. Normal dogs in heat are bananas. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like Banana sandwich. Yeah, Banana I don't know. sandwich. Full on. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. maybe because she's banana sandwich all the time, maybe mm. that's why it's a... Like an it's adverse a effect? Yeah. I don't know, man. It that, may be. That's not... No, that's not I don't not think it works thing. that way. Yeah. Well, All the dogs that come into work who are banana sandwich when they are not in heat are banana sandwicher when they are in heat. <laughs> really? That's right. Or banana sandwicher. <laughs> maybe. Or tweaky wiener sandwicher. Hey. <laughs> right? But maybe. They're, like, they're what I like to call full on batshit bananarama. No. That, hey, that well, and that's the thing. She could be ba uh, ba banana or what, whatever oh. it is. <laughs> Even more, but what? we only see the she parts. She could be super wang chung tonight. <laughs> yes, but but we only see bits and pieces because the rest is such a blur. So we I think see. she's calm, but she's already run to get water, come back to lay down five times before I even notice that she's Dog moved is her head. The flash got it. Yeah, basically. Huh. Okay. So well, flash. I mean that's a skill. Flash dog. Flash dog, ours, that's right. The ones that we have problems with basically just like stick their face in the water bucket and then forget to close their mouth. So they just make a lake across the whole floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. dear. That's yeah. the best. And why do dogs always want to come see you right oh, after yeah. they've had water? Like the oh. thighs of my pants generally on yeah. Wednesday are just wet. I come home, I feel like I'm moldy. Because they're like, they're hey. just like... I and just drank like, water. What's half, happening? <laughs> half of them are doodles, so they have beards. Mm -hmm. They're just like, here, let me put my damp or fully dripping wet beard on your leg. How's it going, Beth? <laughs> <laughs> They're just trying to say they love you. Is all. It's true, and they do. Because if I sit on They're the floor, they, they like mob me. There's yeah. no... Yeah. I just die. I'm covered in dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is, it just, I mean, if you're going to die, that's a pretty good way to go. Might as well go that way. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's better than other ways to die. Yeah, yeah. for sure, for sure, for sure. That's true. Well, like that. One, oh, I'm not going to bring it up. Go ahead. Continue. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> we should probably Wait, what move on. Let's just think about all the horrible things that happened in Game of Thrones, uh -oh, and yes. you know, oh, yeah, Yikes. being well. I guess there was a dog one in that one too. There was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But these guys don't do that to me, so. And dragons. That's good. Yeah, but just moving on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, hey, y'all, let's do... Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Zoe Deschanel films. Um, no movie news this week? Um, My yes. weekend was okay. 
Oh, oh, I'm sorry. We didn't get to yours. Oh, I'm such a jerk. <laughs> I don't know sorry. how that happened. I'm sorry. That was... <clears throat> yes. So your weekend was good. Sorry, I got to the pizza and just went completely. Bo- uh, yeah, that's okay. Banana rama, um, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We had a a little birthday for our nephew, oh, which yay. was great. Yeah. Um, we took him, or we didn't take him. It was a party at this place. Masks were on, which was cool. Um, oh, nice. I mean, pretty much everybody was wearing them because they had to. And Mm -hmm. even the kids were running around in them. It didn't seem like they had an issue. Cool. Um, Yeah, I I wasn't, like, worried about it because, you know, I've gotten my shots. So I was like, I'm sure everything's going to be cool. But it was cool to see, you know, people respecting it and whatever else. Um, So, yeah, little guy turned six. Aww. Yeah. And my present for him didn't show up on time. <gasps> no. Darn it. I got it to I got it today. So he'll just get it late, but it's a Star Wars, it's a Lego Luke's X-Wing. Nice. So, and I did buy myself the Razor Crest also. <laughs> so Very that. cool. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. But yeah, that was it. I'd love uh, to see a picture of your Razor Crest just to say. Yeah, once I once I start putting it together, I will take um progress shots as i do it sweet perfect um and then we also visited with some friends who are all vaccinated as well cool. um their their daughter is off to the navy so oh we decided to go say goodbye and good luck and all that stuff with her so there you it's go. a good time it was a good time good there weekend so that, that good was weekend. it nice that was it very now cool. you can. Now we now can. Now you keep can going. move. Now on. we can move on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Um. All right. Well, I do have some news. Uh, Beth, do you want to uh, give us some Oscar news? I'm just throwing yeah. this at you. I just. I. I know you have some news because you know that I watched it. Well, I tried to watch it, but um, you have to have like an actual cable network or something to to subscribe to if you want to to stream it and i'm not paying 60 dollars a month for a service that i don't won't use (laughs) oh well you know i would have paid ten dollars a month if they had it but they don't have it no it's it's cool i got it just you know yeah heads up um (laughs) i would have like made notes and stuff uh let's see um it was totally different from every other oscar ceremony i've ever seen ever yeah uh, it was pretty cool. It was very small. Only the, um, only like the, what are those people called? The nominees were in the room. Okay. Uh, music by Quest Love, which I thought was fantastic. Love that guy. Cool. Um, it was very, it was, I mean, it was not quite, I thought there would be more people in like pajamas and stuff. Yeah. But people really did dress up for the most part um well they were told not to wear pajamas they were said well that i mean that's cool yeah um the lady what is her name chloe zhao yes for nomadland um she was wearing a very tasteful dress and big white tennis shoes so i was like that's a good compromise i agree right there um and let's see so sound of metal was nominated for a few things sadly our friend did not win uh best supporting actor well, but sound of metal did win i believe sound editing and it might have just been sound and editing there were two different ones see i wish that i had taken notes ah. <laughs> that's okay that's all right um I like I this believe... more authentic. If I were in the same room with you, you'd have a pen stuck in your head. Because <laughs> uh, I would have just thrown it at you by now. Um, I believe Nomad Land won Best Picture. Yes. Um, so you know all this stuff. Why are you making me tell you, you butthole? Because well, I said I like it more authentic. <laughs> I like hearing your stuff. I want uh, if you guys want to see something really great, look for the uh, music trivia moment where uh, the guy walked around the audience and asked people uh, 
Questlove would play a song and he would ask them if it was nominated, if it won, or if it wasn't even nominated. And wow. he uh, pulled out some Donna Summer on uh, Daniel Kaluuya. And Glenn Close was like, he's too young to know that. <laughs> and then um, <laughs> the, the guy thought he was going to pull one over on Glenn Close and she straight shows him up. Good. <laughs> oh, Glenn Close. Fantastic. I completely recommend you look that up. It was a highlight of the show for me. I heard there was a Harrison Ford moment as well. That was pretty good. Yes, Harrison Ford came in and uh, actually presented for best editing. Oh. And he gave us notes on on a film that he was in that he some of the notes for editing. And then we all figured out what it was. And it was like, oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> so, yeah, it was very cool. There were there were a couple of pretty good ones. It wasn't as big and glitzy and bananas as the Oscars usually are. But this is what you do. There you I go. thought the, the inclusivity was pretty solid. Yeah. And then I, of, I, did something weird happen at the end? Because I saw a tweet that said, I'm surprised they let... M. Night Shyamalan direct the end of the Oscars. What happened? So, um, <laughs> the only thing that I can think of was the fact that they directed, or they uh, presented Best Picture before they presented either of the two big acting awards, actor oh, or actress. Okay. Usually those come before the Best Picture. Yeah, yeah Best Picture is usually the last award of the night, okay. so well, my mom and I are sitting there watching, and all of a sudden it's like, Best Picture, and we're like, wait, what? That huh? is weird. Why would they do that? It was weird, <clears throat> but... Uh, but it was it was a fun show. It was on time, which they always complain about. Yeah. Um, David Kaluuya talked about his parents having sex in his um, <laughs> in his is uh, what's it called his acceptance speech, which was really great because when he said it, the camera was on his mom and her face was <laughs> gloriously priceless. She's like, "What is he on about?" Was she mortified? <laughs> she was. It looked like she was just like, wait, what did he just say? <laughs> so that was pretty funny. I wonder if he planned that. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure he didn't. Oh, no. The way he was, the way his acceptance speech went, it seemed very organic. Like he was not expecting to walk away with a statue, I don't think. Huh. And so he had a lot to say, but a lot of it was kind of like a stream of consciousness and... My parents had sex. Isn't that amazing? And <laughs> you're just like, what? So, yeah, it was a good show. It was a good show. I enjoyed it. Sweet. Sweet. Yep. Well, thank you, Beth. That's awesome. <laughs> I love your rendition, just so you know. I, oh. I could never have done it like that. Not in a million years. <laughs> I'm going to roll my eyes at you. I go know. ahead. There we go. <laughs> Moving on. Roll your eyes as a pen gets stuck into mine. Um, well, other news, uh, Haunted Mansion, <laughs> eh? gonna have a new film. In fact, oh, they we've... finally hired a director. Really? Well, yeah. they've done that a couple of times now, so I'm not holding my breath, yeah, but I'm always happy to see a new Haunted Mansion film. Yeah, a lot of people are like, come on, bring us a good one. I'm like, I don't know, I <laughs> like the last one. Um, I know, I but know. it's not a good movie. <gasps> I love it. I we've know. done. We've talked about Sweet this on the house. podcast before. Yeah. I love it. It's not good. I admit it. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I get it. I get it too. Okay. Um, okay. Escape Room Two. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Is Kristen Stewart gonna be in it? Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but it's been moved up to mm. July 16th, six but months you... early. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but is it going to be like the way other movies are sequels to movies and that it is a film about people and an escape room? Or is it going to be a continuation of those actual characters? Because... That's a great question. They're not really releasing a lot about the script. Mm. Um, just the film six months early. Just well, it, That seems weird, right? Well, That's it weird. does. <laughs> but see, they've decided that there because the first what film did really well and that yeah in like 2004 right but but <laughs> yeah. no was it that long ago? no I don't, even know. I don't think it was that i think it was just a two or three years ago it wasn't really no that long. no no friend no no, no? Way. no way because Kristen stewart was a young person in it oh 
Got it. Yeah, hold on. You'll have you to check. You keep talking, okay. I'll tell you. Uh, okay. So, but so here's our thought. Like um so 2002. Oh my. Really? Co- 2002. Just, just, yes. like, yeah, just a couple years ago. No well, yeah, it's a little while. Wait, and wait a minute. I think there was a remake, but a Blumhouse Escape Room. Oh, I'm thinking of Panic Room. Yeah, yeah, I don't Panic Room's a good movie. Escape Room garbage. Got it. Understood. <laughs> Makes more sense. <laughs> now, now it's all. Now clear. it's all coming <laughs> back to me. That's what happens when you spring an Oscar report on someone who had no idea. <laughs> I mean, they get darn it. movies mixed up because Panic Room did really well because it was like yes. a good movie. Well, apparently, those Escape Room did really well too at the box mm. office. Like it oh, went, though. it did, and so they're banking on that. And wanting to compete with summer movies. Oh, because they're going to be. Because all the big summer this movies year. are going to be in the fall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Jeez. I don't know. So they're like, no more. We don't want to be in January. Let's just uh, go to summer and compete with whoever's coming out during the summer. Maybe. Oh, I see what they're doing. They're coming out in. Uh summer because everything else that's big and awesome is coming out in the fall they're like we'll make the money when people can come out but nothing good is happening right yeah exactly (laughs) oh dear (laughs) well we'll see uh i'm not sure if i'll have a subscription plan for movies by july 16th Mm. we'll see depends on how many people decide to go get vaccinated everybody go get vaccinated Sorry, I think people have pretty much Seems decided like a lot of whether they are, are aren't going yeah, it's, to. It's, it's, yep, yep, yeah, um, yeah. I hope they're hope they're not allowed to go to the theater. <laughs> they're not vaccinated. Right. Whew. Well, you're vaccinated. I so. am, so we're good. We're good to go. Okay. Well, hey, uh, if you have news, hey, actually, Joe, is today going to be the the day where I just skip over Joe? Um, Joe, do you have any news you'd like to share? Like movie news? Um, no movie news. No movie news. Okay. Got it. Okay. The bit, well, huh? the bit of news I do have is this pizza is amazing. <gasps> oh, uh, it sounds amazing. I'm jealous. I am so jealous. All right. I'm trying not to let you hear it. I'm sorry. <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, no. I wasn't saying it like that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Got it. Well, um, it's like it sounds like you're enjoying it. <laughs> oh, I am. I am. It's, That's why I, I can hear talking. it in your voice. <laughs> it's stuffing my fat face with pizza. Oh, no Bruce more. says it's not spicy enough, though. It isn't spicy enough, but it's okay. It's still good. It I tastes bet really it's still good. good. <clears throat> Homemade. It's got to be good. Yeah. So, Blue, I'm gonna come down. You're gonna you're gonna make some some pizza for me, okay? Ta da! Yes. Deal. Very cool. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. Uh, so if you have movie news that you want us to talk about, send it to us at uh, 512 Podcast. Um, you could also like, DM us if you want. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Slide Instagram. Slide into our DMs. <laughs> <laughs> what Sorry, Beth said. <laughs> oh, look at that pizza. Oh, that's going to get jalapeno face. Is Is that pineapple? It mm-hmm. looks like pineapple. Yes. That, Glorious. Mm-hmm. I am firmly in the pineapple on pizza camp. Wow. Me too. Wow. Me too. I'm good with pineapple on pizza. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> You're welcome. For the puns. Oh. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Beth's like, what? I wasn't saying thank you. I wasn't you. talking I saw to it. you. I know. I saw the, I saw the, uh, the thing on the, the, the chitty chat. I looked down. Sorry, I gotta stop looking at that. Yeah, stop that. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, we have Patreon. Patreon.com slash TFW Movies. Uh, that's uh, www.patreon.com. And you got the rest. Um, this is the reason you get to see us eat a Doinky Wiener sandwich. Hooraysies. Thanks, James. Yay. Thank you, James. I'm sorry I, I couldn't find squeeze cheese at Target, and now I have to go find squeeze cheese elsewhere. I bought my supplies today. Yeah. Where did you yeah. get your cheese? Albertsons. Me mm. too. I got my cheese at Albertsons as well. I don't want to have an Albertsons here. You have oh, a grocery a store, though, right? Safeway. You have yeah. a Safeway. That's I bet they the got same. it there. Yeah. Yeah, oh, they got it there. Got a Safeway. 
Isn't Safeway and Albertsons the same like parent umbrella? They're all owned by pretty much the same company at this point. Yeah, exactly. That's what I. All I know, I was in a Target and they had Nunsies squeeze cheese. I even asked and I could not come up with the name. (laughs) Easy cheese, easy. I was like, uh, you know, uh, squeeze uh, 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 cheese whiz. Yeah, it's it's no. So Blue asks, did the grocer look at my groceries and get excited? I use the self checkout, so no. Aww. He was an undercover Weird Al fan. <laughs> I was like, I got to get out of here. I don't need anybody to see me grabbing this stuff. The super fun game of people judging your cart. Yeah. When you have like baked beans, so a there lawn is, chair, and a screwdriver. You're like, there what? is one guy at that Albertsons who he comments <laughs> on whatever you bring through there. That's like, so cool. good. He'll be like, what are you making tonight? Or, you know, like, oh, it looks like, uh, you know, like stuffed peppers and something or whatever. And one time <laughs> no, I just went through no. there with just, yeah, just beer. Yeah. I think some bourbon and like three, three tonic waters and three ginger ales. And he's like, rough, rough week at work. Or he said something like that. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, listen, pal, I'm not here for the comments. All right. I'm just here for the groceries. <laughs> yeah. Can I, you just ring me up? Yeah. Can you? I, I don't need this. I really wish that my grocer had had said something like, unfortunately, right before I got up to her, she had just rung up a four hundred dollar grocery sale, and yeah. it, it was a fifteen items or less. <gasps> <gasps> uh. Yeah, what were they buying? Everything. They had something from every single aisle. I'm guessing. Well, that's not fifteen aisles. So or f- fifteen it's aisles. Not. Less. They can't. They can't enforce that. Apparently. No, it's, they it's can't. A, it's a suggestion. Yep. What? Yeah. They can't kick you out of line if you start dropping all your stuff on the conveyor belt. Oh, no. that is straight up a pile of Yeah. Yeah. Bananas. So, the only way that like you out. would the only way that somebody would have to leave that situation is if they were like shamed into it by other customers oh. or the person saying, Hey, you can't that's too many, you can't do that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I would be shamed to get even in the line. Like I couldn't I know. Even stand in the line if Beth, I had a giant cart full me of neither. Crap. Beth, I couldn't. Some people that. have no shame. Yeah, this lady did not. She clearly had no shame. Mm-hmm. So, but uh, so she the the and all I had was the 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 canned cheese. I had hot dogs, and then I had like four different types of ice cream. <laughs> 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 and so it was like I was hoping there'd be a comment, but. I think the lady was a little too peeved off. To yeah, seriously, I felt bad. Gracious. <laughs> yeah. And that same cash, that same checker, once in a while, like if I get a mixture of weird stuff, he'll be like, "Just the essentials today, huh?" Like you know, like <laughs> it's clearly not essentials, but he'll right. he'll. <laughs> well, like my basket had like a package of wieners. Some Twinkies, some Pop Tarts, and like six packages of Band Aids. <laughs> oh, that sounds like you're in for a fun weekend with all that. My my niece loves Band Aids. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then they inevitably fall off, so she's like, "I need another one to cover this ouchie." And I'm like, "Yeah, well, we're at, you used all my Star Wars Band Aids, kid, so I had to buy more." <laughs> yeah. Because I need fun band-aids, too, because I work with dogs. I get scratched up. And I don't use tan band-aids. That's boring. Tan-aids. (laughs) Tan-aids. Tan-aids. Got it. Well, anyway, (laughs) back to the topic at hand. Yeah, sorry. (laughs) That's all right. Thank you for your patronage. Uh, Much appreciated. The Twinkie Wiener sandwiches are going to be awesome. I just know it. Yeah, it's going to be mean, great. And we're all going to do it. Past experience. Um, I I actually would almost prefer, if we could, for Cinco de Mayo celebration. Um, I know why. It's not that it's a Mexican thing. It's <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, it's because it hears <laughs> That's the Sorry. week I have to start eating gluten for like a week. So oh. I think it would like match me pretty well. <laughs> so um, I'm okay with that. Okay. If we yeah, want to wait for your diet care. to be uh, if you don't mind. inclusive of what you have to cram in your face like, hole. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's only a, a like a week. You know, it's not that long-ish. Yeah, I think, we'll, I think we'll be okay. Okay, good. Yeah. 
Phew. All right, James, are you okay with this? I hope you're okay with this. <laughs> James doesn't want to see a Gideon at all. Yeah, he keeps <laughs> saying guy. that, like... <laughs> <laughs> he signed up and then he was like wait you guys have to do what yep. Ugh. <laughs> I'm like I think it's yeah, yeah, James oh, yeah God. leave me out of this oh I love it <laughs> we won't make you do it but you're gonna watch right you wanna see what happens it's like a train Ooh. wreck right you know you can't look away <laughs> you kinda. can tell him to stare but you can't look away it's just like mm. <laughs> twinkie wiener sandwich yes, yes. alright well let's uh, let's like, move out of the the uh pastries and move into <laughs> something uh i don't know more tasty i'm not sure maybe i said didn't have said it that way mm. uh yeah i see this coming and i'm uh, uh just go ahead just do it you've committed yeah yeah okay mm -hmm. here we go this this lady was born in 1980 she's so tasty <laughs> See, instant I just wanted to be on record. Instant I just want to be on record that DJ said Zoe Deschanel is tasty. Is tasty. <laughs> uh, I let absolutely... the record show. Let the record show. It is. It is written. Um, my so, Irish red face is completely contrasting the green screen. Yeah, I can right hear now. you blushing through the. Uh, where oh. was I? Seven. Yeah. She was born in 1980, and she's so, so tasty. Oh, gosh, yeah. yes. She started acting at age 17, all right? Um, and this is probably because her dad, Daddy like was an Academy Chanel? Award nominee. <laughs> Daddy Deschanel? Uh, yes, Daddy Deschanel. Daddy Deschanel. Yes. Um, I don't think anyone calls him that. I don't think no, so I'm either. sure they, not. Um, they should, though. But um, And he was, <laughs> a, he was a, a di <laughs> director of photography. So, huh. yeah. Yeah. And then mom. So he probably was like, don't become an actor. Yeah. Don't. Do not do this. Oh, but darn please, it. don't you want to be a dental hygienist? Right. But mommy Deschanel was an actress. Um, Deschanel mom. Got it. Yes. Um, <laughs> and she was, uh, what was it? Uh, in the 90s, she was an actress in uh, uh, Twin Peaks, I believe it was. Hmm. I think her sister is also an actress. Oh, see, it's an acting family. I mean, except for Emily Daddy Deschanel. Deschanel. She sister. was a uh, bones. Sister De Chanel. Yeah. <laughs> bones. But I really De Chanel. Yeah. You know Bones, DJ. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Bones McCoy? Yes. No. 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 Oh. Bones from Bones is Emily De Chanel is De is oh. Chanel's sister. Oh, I knew yes. once I talked that out enough. Yes, there it you is. Would, <laughs> the you would have show. a reaction. <laughs> there it is. Yep. You made that connection happen. Go. Thank there you. There it is. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and one of my favorite parts is that she's mentioned in Weird Al's song, Lame Claim to Fame. And so every time I say her name, I have to say it, Zoe Deschanel, because that's how it's said. You have to say it just like Weird Al says it. Exactly. <laughs> ah, does there does we go. Weird Al say tasty, though? Ah. Uh, not in that song. Definitely okay. not in that song. Uh, for sure. Um, yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, not to throw a wrench into um, into the whole thing. Oh, crumb. Hold on. Uh, don't hold on. I'll start. How about this? Not to throw a wrench into what uh, we planned before the show, but we are going to start off with Crackhead Blue like we always do. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Got the last minute list in. <laughs> we, we did. We did. smooth a -roni. That's right. Um, all right. So she picks Elf, good. The, the Good Girl, <clears throat> mm -hmm. Failure to Launch, Kay. Trolls, and <gasps> The Happening. Oh, God. <laughs> That's the one I was talking about. Uh -huh. Scary trees. Okay, yeah. All right. That makes sense. That, yeah. yeah. Oh. The I don't acting, understand it's that. So, it's so bad. It's so awkward. And it's these are great actors. Good actors that can act. And you're just like, why is this happening? Why is... Why does Mark Wahlberg just sound confused the whole movie? Like, Because he is. The whole but movie. But it's like... 
I guess it was, was... a character choice because the character was confused AF through the whole yeah. movie. Yeah, because of it's... the scary trees. It's real bad. Yeah, I probably don't think I've seen <laughs> it. I don't think I've seen it. Oh well, hold on, just a hot second because. Oh no. Uh, who has H? Have who has H? H? That would be Beth Aww. has H. Nope, DJ nope. has oh, H. Oh, I have H. You do. Yeah. Really? So oh. now you're gonna watch the happening. Merry Christmas. That, but E, E F, G. Oh, I yeah, do. Yeah, I H. did F. So you have G. Joe does G. I have to remember and then my H comes after that. Yeah, you I have, have to remember my alphabet. <laughs> yeah, I wrote it down so I couldn't forget my alphabet. Okay then. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to be a good teacher, right. I swear. I know I'm going to be a good teacher. <laughs> All right. So, next on the list is James. And here's what he said. It's right here, just in case you wanted to see it. I forgot to put it in the show notes, but I have it here. Ah. All right. Zoe Deschanel. <laughs> so, this is uh, one of those actresses that could be called character actor because she is so distinctive. But uh, I'd argue that she isn't. <laughs> First fell in love with Zoe in New Guy as a needy, cool kid. And almost famous was, uh, was a deep one. Uh, win what is it? Winter Classic. Here we uh, can you guess what it is? Elf. Yes. Elf. Yeah. Very good. Um, and she was good in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah. Although not my favorite version of that story, she was good. No. No. Oh. But uh yeah. Yeah. And yes man, she plays herself, I swear. <laughs> she has <laughs> her own uh her own show, New Girl, but uh haven't seen it yet. My my wife's seen all of them. She loves New Girl. She was in the New Girl and the New <clears throat> Guy. Isn't that interesting? Um, and then, as always, thank you for uh, for the show, and have a wonderful day, Joe, Beth, and DJ. Aw, thanks, James. Thanks, James. Smiley face. Thank you, James. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Um, what did I want to say? I, I kind of agree with the, with the comment of, like, Zoe Deschanel says is pretty much Zoe Deschanel all the way through pretty much everything. She's pretty, yeah, um, pretty commonly. Pretty standard. Um, yeah. But anyway, um, I let's move on, shall we? Okay. Thank you, James. Thank you. Oh, I think I just yelled that into my ear. Ow. <laughs> Good job. Do you want me to do Wendy's list while you're uh, acclimating to the sound? Uh, no, no. Wendy, she'll oh. wrap it up out nice like a bow. See, it'll be really beautiful. Um, okay. <laughs> it's always beautiful in my mind. Uh, TikTok group. Here we go. At uh, Hobby Collector. Oh, sorry. At hobby underscore collector. Um, I still think of her uh, band from Yes Man. A band. I think I think there was a... a t uh, I don't know what he meant to say there. Um, her band from Yes Man? Oh, okay. Yes. That's it. Durr. Um, regularly uh, Munchausen by Proxy. <laughs> ah. that's, that's the name of the band, right? Um, oh. She was... Uh, in a bunch of films, uh, but I, that I was growing up uh, when I was growing up, and, and oh man, Bridge to Terabithia tears oh. me up. And then uh, five hundred. I'm guessing that's Days, Days of, of Su summer. summer. It just says five hundred of summer. Um, yeah. Uh, I was a Tom at the time. Okay. I'm not sure I'm getting the lingo here. Uh, but I'm not sure because I can't read it. Because Tom is in <clears throat> quotes. <laughs> it probably has something to do with the character. That's not a film I've seen, so I don't know. Mm, same, okay, yeah. mm -hmm. got it. I was a Tom at the time. Uh, okay, cool. Anyhow, thank you, uh, at hobby underscore collector. Good job, man. Hey. Person. Nice. Um, and that was the only <laughs> one I got from TikTok. And then we Good got... Save, from Instagram, Courtney RVTO09. Yep. yep. Courtney! She says, since TV counts, new girl. Was oh, that your homie, Beth? Yeah, that's my girl. That's your girl. Got it. There we go. Uh, and uh, for a movie, she puts Elf. Yeah. And to wrap it up nicely in a bow, 
Oh, yes, Wendy's List. Wendy's List. I'll do that now to make it beautiful. Yay. (laughs) Her film choices are Failure to Launch, Elf, and Our Idiot Brother. (laughs) Yelf. Yelf? Yelf. I don't know. Just sounded fun. (laughs) Every time I say elf, my dog picks up her head, and I'm like, no. No. (laughs) Oh, right. um, Yeah, not you. Stop whining. Sorry. (laughs) Well, at least she can't hear how how many times everybody else is saying it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Phew. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, everybody. What's wonderful Good list, everyone. That was fun. That was fun. And I liked Zoe Deschanel. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. I'll stop. It's I'll okay. Stop. No, okay. I know you like to say it, and I know that you think she's tasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, <laughs> could that be a title, Tasty Zoe? <laughs> mm, Zoe's so tasty. That's up to you, my friend. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll <laughs> moving on. Cast, cast list. There we go. <laughs> there you have it. There we go. Um, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah. Um, I've only seen that one version. I've read the book, but I've not seen another version of that. Oh. So. Yeah, you should check out. There. I'll I'll send you. What's a list. the uh? What's the 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 year of the other one? Is there more than one? Yeah, there's. I'll I'll talk to you about it after. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. If you like trolls, there we go. I Y'all. like that. Yes, man. And uh, failure to launch. <laughs> yes. That movie is really funny. It really is funny. <laughs> so, and that's it. That's all. That's my least. Beth, yeah. what is your list? Uh, it's like the same stuff. So okay. failure to launch that movie that I don't want to say because my dog's name Ha-ha. is uh, part of How it. How about Elf? And, uh, <laughs> Hitchhiker's Guide. Spell it, Beth. Spell it. <laughs> E-L-F. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Got it. Got it you got know, it. the one where she plays Jovi. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah. another human with an affinity for elf culture. <laughs> Who doesn't like to sing. Exactly. Even yeah. though she has a very lovely singing voice. Yeah. How about your list, Joe? Uh, pretty much the same stuff. I have only ever seen her in two movies that I can recall. I think maybe I've seen parts of Trolls, but I don't know. Um, I went with The Happening and Ooh. Elf. <laughs> and I okay, so let me let me clarify a little bit. We we spoke a little bit about The Happening, um, without really bringing it to attention. How yes. we were baffled by the acting decisions yeah, that were made in that choices. movie. And it, I, I think it had to be direction, honestly. Yeah. I'm sure. And, you know, I'm sure. <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan has been known to, like, kind of ham- that and hamstring good actors. Yeah. So I have I'm a feeling, sure. like, another good example of that is Natalie Portman in episode one. Yeah. She was very wooden and robotic. And that's all George Lucas's direction because yeah, she's cause a great we actress. Yeah, she's a great actress. Right. So I really, I don't think that it was an act the actors having fun with it i feel like they were directed poorly by m night yeah. shamalama ding dong so right well and knowing that's... what film you were talking about yeah i made take it, back everything i was easier. saying yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so i like the movie the concept like there's some cool visuals there's some cool interesting it's an interesting co- premise right right but it was the just way like, it man, was what? executed was um what's the word i'm looking for Clunky. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Clunky. Or I could say something else, but we'll stick with clunky. Clunky, clunky works. Yeah. So is a great concept McClunky. for execution. <laughs> McClunky. Oh god. Um, Ugh. I, I, why is that in there? Why is that in there? Anyway. <laughs> Beth, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. It, it's interesting how the the movie that we got. Um, Zoe de Chanel from wasn't even mm. on anybody's list. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <Was it? laughs> Crazy. All right. Well, speaking of movies that we get actors from, mm-hmm. stuff we're putting in our eyes, Alphabet Movie <clears throat> Soup. Uh, yeah. We are on. What did we have? Yeah. F. That's right. Letter F. That's right. Beth picked this one. Mm-hmm. Fido, you said. And 2006. Yeah, Fido. 
Sadly, it's leaving Amazon Prime, so we caught it just in time. Right on the edge. Yeah, like two days or something like that. Yeah, but Mm -hmm. I find this movie delightful. Um, I it it was better than I expected it to be. (laughs) I know you were expecting something worse, weren't you? He was expecting a, a like zombie a zombie movie, movie right? Yeah, well, I knew it. Well, and knew it. if I must, I must add. Um, sure, to, sure. To when I saw this as a film, I could have picked the last time we came around the F word. Oh, I see. <laughs> um, I I was like, uh, that looks scary. Although the title is like, this is interesting. Yeah, it's a zombie movie named Fido. Yeah. The kid name's the zombie Fido. And so I was just kind of like, well, I'll skip it because it looks scary. And so thank you, Beth, for sending it our way. See? Giving you a chance. Yes. Yes. To watch Billy Connolly play uh, (laughs) a zombie. (laughs) Uh, Yes. It it always cracks me up. I've seen it a few times, and it always cracks me up how just not Billy Connolly he is. Yeah. Because you can't hear his voice, and every once in a while you can hear, like, in his, Ugh, you can kind of <laughs> hear it. It's like, oh, there he is, I found him! <laughs> but um, I think that movie is super funny. Uh, for those of you who have not f- seen it, I recommend it. Uh Sort of a 50s suburbia meets the zombie apocalypse situation after the zombies have uh, have made Been their vanquished. big run on society. Yeah. And this is how society has chosen to deal with it. And it's, uh, they, they use the zombies as <clears throat> workers and like pets kind of yeah yeah so it's an interesting it's an interesting take (laughs) it is a very that's that's yeah Mm -hmm. yeah a a very comical interesting take i think uh i laughed a lot good i really liked it yes it was yeah it it definitely got some chuckles out of me as well yeah it had been a few years since i'd seen it so i was like oh fido starts with f we're gonna do fido (laughs) then i'm sitting there and i'm like is it as funny as i remember it did I totally just like dump the bomb on them? <laughs> but then I was watching it. I'm like, no, 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 this is this is still good. It holds up. Okay, yeah, good. It was yeah. still good. It was it was really good. I there was a pacing was a little slow at the beginning. Like there was yeah. a, to me there was too much exposition. Like yeah, explaining and it to felt you like how let's let's get going. Let's let's move this forward. But how Zomcon um, runs right. everything basically and. The obnoxious and, uh, lady yelling at the kid to put the bike away. Yeah, and then the dad just like so terrified. Yeah, it was. There was some just, of it was like, okay, what are we doing? But once it started rolling, yeah, I was yeah. laughing at some of the situations. And I know my favorite line in the whole movie, hands down, is, "Just because your father tried to eat you, do we all have to be miserable <laughs> <Right>. forever?" <laughs> just yeah. like. Oh my god! Yeah, and the little flirting that mom was doing with Fido was kind of yeah. like uh, it was off-putting, but it was still pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. right. It was. And then he like gives her the eye, and she's like, "Oh, Fido, for goodness' yeah. sake!" It's like, yeah. what? Yeah, man. <laughs> pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I enjoyed it a so. lot. I I would give it an eight. Okay. Yeah. What would you give it, Joe? Uh, a six or a seven. Okay. I'd give it a. I'd give it an eight. I'm Excellent. pretty fond of Fido. Yeah, I, I, the bullies, they got what they deserved. <laughs> it was they were hilarious. I just as soon as as soon as the you made me shoot my stupid brother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> little bastard. I hated those kids. Oh yeah, they deserved it. They, I hated them too. Yeah. They were awful. They're awful. So, but yeah, awful children. <laughs> but yeah, um, next week is a G film. Yep. yep, it is, and, and it's Joe, G by Joe. Joe. G. Yeah, I'll find something. G by Joe. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah, hey, Couldn't hey. help it. G by Joe. No, that was good. That was good. <laughs> it was very good. Good job. Good job. Uh, Beth, what else have you been watching? Um, I don't know. Come back to me. Come back to you. Okay. All right, Joe. What have you been, have watching? been watching? 
Uh, we watched the newest episode of The Mighty Ducks. Oh, okay. We really enjoy that show. Um, I watch when I have a little bit of time to spare, like, you know, bathroom time or whatever. I'll pop YouTube open and watch a little Taskmaster. Still enjoying that show. Cool. Um, Beth, I think you and your mom would like it just based on other game show stuff that you guys are into. Okay. Um, and it's British, so... You know, you turned us on to a British show. My turn to turn you on to a British show. Totally fair. Um, <laughs> it's funny. And if you like, and I will, you know, Blue Blue said, might as well watch Practical Jokers. Well, if you like Impractical Jokers, then I actually they don't... did start watching this. Okay. <laughs> so go ahead. <laughs> so you do know what it's about. So yeah. It's, it's quite funny, I think. It's pretty amusing. The, the yeah. tasks are just, wh- what? What? <laughs> what I find funny is how they figure out how to game the task. That's right. what I. That's what's the en- the enjoyable part. I the one I was watching this morning before I went to work was um they have to eat the egg. Yeah. And they give them a raw egg. Yeah. And like the girl is just fully thinking that she's hosed because she's assuming the guys are just gonna eat a raw egg. Right. But then everybody like goes and cooks it. <laughs> And yeah. I really like the way they said <laughs> he achieved egg in, <laughs> right. in like no, so, three yeah, the, and 50 seconds. I love the two guys that do it. Um, the Alex Horn and, and um, Greg Davies. Yeah. Um, Alex Horn is actually the mastermind behind the show. Greg Davies is just the host. Ah, okay. So, But they play it off as he's his little assistant, which is right. quite funny. That is funny. Um. But yeah, it's it's fun. Oh, uh, so you're in season two then? Yeah, I just got series to season two. two. Okay. Yeah. So but. my favorite person from series one was probably Ramesh, but yes, I love the irrationally angry gentleman. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> just angry about everything. Tim Key, the way he tried to game everything was everything. so was so funny. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good. It's a it's fun show. Yeah, it is a very interesting show. It's got a lot of. Um, it's just, it is absolutely interesting to see the way people think things through and the way different people approach different tasks from the, from the get-go. Yeah. So, it's, it's very interesting to watch from a, from a personality standpoint. <laughs> and yeah, then it's right. also just funny to watch, you know, what people think is your most trendy bit of clothing or your... Oh goodness! Some oh right, yeah. When they have yeah the cha- the challenges, yeah, yeah, that's good. So that's yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's a fun show. I recommend. I recommend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Did you have something else? <laughs> um, I think that's all we've. Oh, we watched Mortal Kombat. Oh, oh how cool. did you like it? You guys, you uh, guys can talk about it. I haven't gotten there it. It was pretty funny. <laughs> like, yeah. It, it was. It was. DJ had said something on Marco Polo like blood, blood, yeah. blood, yeah, blood, yeah. blood a mean, hundred mor- times. It's Mortal Kombat. It is. Yeah, I mean it's it's Mortal Kombat. It's, yes. And they, they definitely went for the video game feel of it. So okay. I appreciated that. There was a lot of very um much. dialogue from the games. <laughs> there was a lot of familiar actions and movements from the game. Yes. So I agree. I, I thought nostalgia. it was it was fun. It was fun. It was a fun okay. watch. Nice. Did they do the music? Um, at the end, yeah. and there was a little callback during one of the fights, but it wasn't super obvious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, what else? Uh, well, I mean, we're, while we're on Mortal Kombat, um, I, I wish I had written it down, but there were, it was, to me, it was not, it was not as good as I thought it would be. I was expecting oh. it to be. Um... And I'm trying to. I, I wish I could remember why. Like, there's, there was some specific things that that happened that I was just like, well, all right, but I don't think they would have done that. Um, and I, I feel like, um, I don't know. I feel like they. Oh, I know what it was. Um, there was. They kind of. They did just get right into the action. But mm-hmm. but there was it's it felt like they skipped a bunch of stuff in between, like there could have been a, a little bit more 
explanation. I, I, I'm guessing that's what I was thinking. Um, but I, I felt like they skipped through a whole bunch of stuff that they didn't make the connections like they were supposed to do. And they were they were definitely um, relying on those people that, um, I guess, that played the game and really trying to to use nostalgia to to win this this game or this film who said the baby pissed her off i don't know what that means but just seeing that sentence in the chat makes me smile <laughs> it's like what just happened <laughs> the baby pissed me off youch <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's uh something that happened in the beginning of the movie i don't want to give i don't want to say it in case oh, if you watch it yeah okay. there that was also a thing I, I kept trying to tell her no. That I mean, they told us that's yeah, it's, it's resolved. It's it's okay. But she was like, no, nah, I, I want to see it. I want to see it. Uh, right, so. right. And and uh, that's the other thing. Like we when it went to <laughs> present day, we were like, she says it was not all capitals resolved. It was. It, it was it, not. Yeah, it like, was. Yes, yes, it was. So, but here's the thing. Like I, we were like going okay. Where did that baby go? Why are we in present day? And is that baby in present day? Or how long ago was this? What? They explained it. They said it. That, yeah. It was all said in dialogue. It, it was said, but it was said like way later as an afterthought. And we were like, I, I don't know. I, I think they could have explained I think it it's a little fine. bit earlier. In was the- it like? Kung Pao enter the fist where like the baby in the beginning and then he grows up to be the main guy or negative nope, no nope, okay. no but I I swear I there's some stuff on the cutting room floor. that's possible blue blue is wondering if it got cut out maybe like there was some extra stuff oh I think so that, I bet there is but the it, opposites are I, like there's a main guy and then there's just a random baby like who's nah, baby was this eh, I'll tell you off off yeah. the show see yeah, okay. be- if you don't mind spoilers yeah yeah Okay. Yeah, it's Mortal Kombat. It is. It's Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I feel like I need to watch it again to just digest it a little bit more. Um, so I mean, if you liked Mortal Kombat, you're gonna be into this. You're gonna love it. Mortal if you Kombat. if you watched it, I, it was a fun watch. I did wish okay. that the the music was there more, but but don't get me wrong, the music in it was really good. I really enjoyed the music. So okay. I don't know. Take it. Take it. For what it's worth, I, I mean, if we're going on that on a scale, uh, Joe, I would I would give it a a, a five. Maybe mm-hmm. I'd go with a, a six. Average movie, yeah. I mean, the acting wasn't superb. No, uh, the action was fun. Yeah, the action was. Fun. Um, I'd give it like a six or seven. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I I definitely put it, I'll put it in my eyes again so I can digest it a little bit more. Um. Uh, and uh, you know, I was I had some laughs too. Like there were yeah. some things that were just kind of whoa, you know, kind of funny. So okay, yeah, yeah, cool. So and and it definitely, I mean, I would hope there's some characters that I didn't see that I think need to be there. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's Who it. Who would that be? I don't know. Without- I don't know. You're just, okay. you're just, you feel like there needed to be more characters. I, I feel like that there were some characters that were left out, and I can't, I can't recall because it's been like ages since I've, I've played the game. Hmm. So, okay. and I'm <laughs> actually, I might be <laughs> mixing, mixing up. it up with like Street Fighter. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that could be it. That could be it. I don't know. That could definitely be a thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knowing I mean, they, this, they, this. They had most of the major players there and some of the surprises that I wasn't expecting. Yeah. Uh, they had more people in it than I thought were going to be in it. And maybe that's okay. that was it. Maybe I was confusing films. See, I just need to <clears throat> do watch it again. I think. Yeah, it was, it was fun. It was fun. All right. Very good. Okay. So, uh, what else have you guys been watching? Um, so I watched The Taskmaster. I watched... Oh, the RuPaul Drag Race finale. Mm. And I think that went the way it should have went as far as the main winner. Um, 
also something else we watched. And we watched the finale of Hell's Kitchen and watched Gordon Ramsay yell at everyone. <laughs> um, also, oh, we watched this really terrible show that's like, it's not terrible. It's absolutely like an adventure soap opera. We watched 911 and 911 Lone Star, which, like, for real life, it's completely inaccurate. There's no way that all of this stuff happens. No way that the amount of people who, like, you know, <laughs> um, who survive situations that they're put in for the dramatics of, oh my god, that guy has a piece of rebar stuck in his head. Um, it's just, it's not accurate. But we do enjoy it for the the ridiculous joy of uh of 911 <laughs> show. So, um we watched both of those and they came back this week. And uh I think that was probably it. I'm supposed to watch uh, Finding Nemo with my niece tonight. Oh, fun. And uh you know how much I love that. So, I think that's pretty much the all I can think of right now. And we watched Fido and the Oscars. Yay! The Yoskers. The Yoskers. Cool. They didn't call it the um, the Academy Awards when they first came on, too. Regina King was just like, "Welcome to the Oscars." I was like, "Wow!" Wow! Yeah. And then they did like the number. It's like ninety third or something like that. Fast and, and loose. Yeah, they were. It was. It was a tiny little place, and it was. I thought it was cool. I thought it was. I thought it was... I think they should keep it up. Yeah. I don't think it needs to be so big. But I also do enjoy, like, the the big dance numbers and all the crazy, crazy dramatic stuff that goes into the Oscars. All the spectacle. Yeah, I like that, too. So I can't... (laughs) I can't... I can't say that I I wish that it would stay this way, but I also... It's kind of fun. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So, moving on, because we already talked about the Oscars. (laughs) Very cool. Very cool. Well, do you want to know what I was watching? Yeah, what'd you watch? All right. Well, I watched Stowaway. Um, Mm -hmm. This was... uh, It has a small cast, like four. Um, Mm -hmm. This uh, group of three are heading off to Mars. They're going to a two-year mission. They're going to go to Mars and hang out and test some stuff and then come back to Earth, right? Yeah. and they're on a space station that was designed for only two people, but there's three. Oh. So they're How like... How come they did that? Uh, I don't know why. I think it was part of their, their testing and to see see how they could do... I don't even know exactly mm, why they did that. Sense. That part was wasn't really... For three people. Yeah. But um, accidentally, though, somebody was on the shuttle when it took off. The guy was unconscious and uh when they finally got to the station and locked and started heading toward mars daniel day kim um love him. yeah um th- it was yeah he wasn't supposed to be there and so now there's hmm. four people in a space station heading to mars that built was designed for, two. for two but they're originally <laughs> three and now there's four now there's four yes tricky very tricky so they don't have enough are we sure one of them isn't an alien well yeah we're sure we're sure okay um so um and nobody suspects foul play just he fell he forgot to hold on like tighten his reins or whatever and fell and landed in this spot and was unconscious and so Hmm. actually they're really he's lucky they found him when he they did because he would have died yeah, you know. Days. So, but uh, overall, though, uh, it was great. I think it, the script was really well done. Um, at the beginning, it was like they were moving stuff around, and I was like, I don't know what they're moving around, and I don't know why. So, I mean, at least that could have been explained a little bit more. But um, uh, overall, like there was there was good music, there was good uh, dialogue. And uh, there was a good, um, scary, thrill scene. It, in fact, I think it's it's um, it's put out as a thriller. So uh, it looks kind of like it. Yeah, they kind of have. 
Yeah. Oh, and it was that good. Feel to it. It was good. I don't understand why they did it the way they did, other than I, I think just for gravity's sake. I don't know. It's it, but still good, all the way up into the very end. Mm. And I won't gonna. Mm. I don't want to spoil good anything job. there, but uh, choices were made, and <laughs> I was just like, all oh, right, <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. I see what they did. I see what they did, and I see why they did it, but I was just like... But I don't like it. <laughs> um, but I don't like it, exactly. Um. I said, I was thinking that particular thing that they did is only allowed to be done on Earth or a planet of some sorts, but not the way they did it. So, uh, just like, I guess the nerd in me said, that doesn't happen in space. <laughs> so, oh. that was it. That was all. Um, oh, it's one of those. It was one of those things. But they needed a way to show it, and that's how they did it, and those were the choices that they made. But overall, excellent. Excellent. So, um, yeah, where was I? That was it. Okay. Uh, Stowaway. I recommend it, though. I totally recommend it. I think it was on uh, Netflix. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Whew. All right. Um, this one wasn't on anything that I had other than my DVD player. It was Skyscraper. <laughs> so, yeah. You said that on the on the Marco Polo. You're like, I reached into my, my DVD collection and pulled out Skyscraper. Yes. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> of all the movies. I know. And there's a ton I, I haven't seen in I don't a think long I've time. ever seen that. It was almost Who Framed Roger Rabbit, just so you know. I'm surprised it wasn't. If given the choice between the two, I'm surprised that you picked. I know. Uh, I think because I've already seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit a hundred thousand times, and I was like, "Well, yeah, I should give this one a chance." Really uh, ever stop you? I know. I'm right. watching it again. I'll probably watch it here pretty soon. <laughs> You're all mm, now. I've got the bug. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Um, Gotta watch Eddie Valiant drive around in a animated cab. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Um, watch Seventeen oh no, he's again. He's driving through the dip. <laughs> Seventeen again. Yes, the that's, dip. That's, that's a funny movie. That is a funny movie. <laughs> and you know what? I, I watching it again. Um, I w it was really neat to see. Um, I'm blanking on both their names. The one, the, um, Zac Efron plays mm -hmm. the younger version of uh and he's the friends actor i don't know my, I don't yeah know. he's the one of five let's see if you can get it. i'm not getting it at all i don't even remember <laughs> trust me trust me i don't even remember his name i i see his face he's got like the the little round oval's face with the dark hair and that's, that's all i got keep it Come on, keep telling me what he looks like. That's it. That's all I have. He 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 like wears trench coats. I don't even know. He wears trench coats? I just don't even Matthew Perry, guys. Matthew, Matthew Perry, Perry, that's right. That's <laughs> right. Thank you. I was like, who is he talking about? <laughs> Bethel. You know. Yes. Zach Efron plays a seventeen year old Matthew Perry yes. and it is very amusing it, to watch. It really is. And I I have to say Zach Efron was able to to get some of Matthew Perry's like yeah he did a pretty pretty great job I think yeah and then, like it was and even when it wasn't like full on Matthew Perry it was very like good choices yes good choices yes. for a, a a father of a daughter <laughs> trapped in a seventeen year old body yes. yes it's very funny absolutely and then. Uh, Shining highlights Thomas Lennon as uh, his best friend slash fake dad. Yes. <laughs> so good. Oh, and when so they were good. speaking Elvish, him and the principal. Mm. Oh hilarious. my God, that's so funny. Hilarious. I love this film. What movie super, is this? Super, super funny. He's peacocking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and she's like, are you peacocking right now? <laughs> <laughs> super funny. I fully recommend. I recommend yes. 17 again. If you're looking for like a kind of a freaky friday thing yeah except that n nobody like the son doesn't go into the the dad's body it's just the dad gets younger yeah again it's like the opposite again. of big 17 <laughs> again Got it. yeah exactly <laughs> yeah it's pretty silly it is. in 
really good ways. It is. It's very well done. I, I and poor I Zac Efron typecast as a basketball player. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean that was before he became like not High School Musical Zac Efron. Yeah. Before he got like yeah the Saint Cloud movie where his brother's dead. What Miss George George Saint Saint Cloud. Now I gotta look that yeah, up. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I can't, <clears throat> I can't remember, remember that one, one now. But anyway, well done. I like, I mean, uh, I just, I haven't seen a bad film that Zac Efron has done. Yeah, I really him. like him. Yeah. I think he's very, he's a, he seems like a good guy, and then also he's pretty good at doing stuff. Yes. Picking good things. Pretty good at doing yes. stuff. Yes. He's a pretty good acting man. <laughs> mm. Pretty good mm. acting man. Mm. Very Got tasty. It. Oh, wait. No, wrong. T- <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he's like 12 years old, but yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, dear. Charlie St. Cloud. <laughs> Charlie St. Cloud, that's right. Got it. That's a that's a really good movie too. Yes. Um but round out off rounding off my film uh oh not my film. Nineteen eighty seven, but... he's like as old as my sister. Oh my gosh. Eighty seven. Wow. He's like two years younger than my sister. Damn. Older than my sister. Oh. Hey, I know how math works. <laughs> you did hey, it. Hey, good job. Yay. Good job with math. <laughs> Good job, Beth. Well done, well done Beth. <laughs> You did math. Um, okay. Uh, last viewing, it, what I put in my eyes, the final episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Oh. So I and did how was that enjoy it. It was. Oh. It was uh, a very pleasurable. Um, just, I don't know. The ap- the last episode made me want to like cry out and go hooray. I was. I enjoyed. Oh, it. you okay. did enjoy right. it. I thought you said you didn't enjoy. No, it. No, no, I did. Yeah, that's what it sounded like you said. Oh, too. yeah. No, yeah. I had, I did enjoy it. It was very good. Okay. Yes, I, it was good. Right. So, and I don't want to say anymore because it it's yet. still yeah. super new. Um, yeah. So we won't do spoilers, but um, um, after this came out, I mean, they did mention that uh, they're they're um, working on what is it. Uh, something else uh part four um captain america four. Oh. yeah it's it's going now so just so you know nice all right that's it that's all i've been putting in my eyes and there may be a more but i can't recall what it was i know it happens yeah. like this is it's a whole week well plus there was school i did a lot of school and i was just yeah. like mm. worked a lot yeah so uh, I was thinking, Uh-oh. Um, what do you think of Carrie Ann Moss as okay. our our uh, list? What our is that? Our featured actress. actress. List. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Cool. Well, if you have a favorite Carrie Ann Moss film or TV show, I'm not gonna be like worried about it uh 512 podcast uh send us a text message let us know um you could even email at us at shout out at tfwmovies.com or at tfwmovies on twitter facebook instagram and i'll probably throw in something there for uh what is it um uh TikTok. tiktoks and and uh, instagrams and all that stuff yeah all those things yeah, all, all the shiny, those sparkly so. medias. Yeah, That's yeah. right, all the sparkly medias. So, um, okay, so time to plug something for the show. Um, and uh, let's start with Big Checho. That's right, Checho Standard Checho. Tattoo Parlor. Uh, he needs to do some uh some tattooing because he has a family to feed. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't all know. The babies. There's a baby, and it's so cute. Uh, check it out on, uh, on the uh, Instagram Standard Tattoo Parlor um, on Instagram it's pretty cool and then get yourself a tattoo I mean I don't recommend getting a tattoo of his baby um, uh, yeah that's that's probably a little weird might be a little bit I weird mean, but getting a tattoo of our logo I think would be fun I that might be a little weird too yeah okay might that be. might be a little weird that's, actually that's very I true. mean you know I'm not going to judge. If you feel like doing that, that's all you. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> and I'm in the show. Yeah. So. So, but yeah. Um, but anyway. But thanks for the love. <laughs> <laughs> 
but he is he's pretty awesome he's a good uh, he's a good uh, tattoo guy artist art man uh, yeah. art man art man um he you could commission work with him if you want i mean there's all kinds of stuff um he'll paint up your motorcycle probably yeah yeah um and uh what else i wrote a book called the nerd in law and that's spelled n-e-r-d-a in law that's right um and it's uh it's getting some gusto gusto right now i don't know why i don't know how that's working out but i'm grateful we'll see i might make two dollars this year Woo-hoo. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> hey winning yeah. two more than you had right that's exactly, yeah, exactly. right that was the whole point. Like I'm like, um, boy, look at all these fees. Whatever. I don't, I don't, you know, all this came out of my brain, right? <laughs> it didn't make any. Yeah. yeah. Didn't cost me anything to make it. So, anyway, there we go. There you go. Uh, I just listened to the Twenty Nine Toes podcast, one of their latest ones, which I think was out Ooh. like four weeks ago or something like that. But, oh, okay. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. I looked this morning. <laughs> there wasn't anything. Right? So, and if you want, I mean, they're looking at a way to do an app. They're like, they have an idea for an app, but they don't know how to design an app or whatever. So if you know how mm-hmm. to, check them out. You know? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, Joe, what have you got for us? Uh, I'll just plug the Twitch channel as usual. You can find me at twitch.tv slash apostle. <clears throat> excuse me underscore ofc uh tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays and sometimes sunday at 6 30 p.m pacific oh yeah there it is, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> well ladies and gentlemen you've made it all the way through the show congratulations Yay. to you <laughs> so now is the time that we do all the thanking so uh, we'll thank you for listening to Thank You For Watching. Um, of course, we always start with our Patreon... Uh, what if Crew. Our, yeah. Our Patreon party. Pa- <laughs> Patreon crew. Patreon party. Yeah. Lucas, Abby, Tyler, Teacher Jam, Strauss, Sean, Blue, we thank her later, Wendy, and James. Thanks, Yay! James! We got a Twinkie <laughs> Wiener sandwich with your name on it, buddy. <laughs> the patron, <laughs> well, thanks, the patron the, posse. That, that's good. I like that. Patron posse. Patron posse. I'm gonna write that down. Yeah. Patron posse. Okay. Uh, we would like to thank Big Checho for all of his uh, kind and helpful artwork. Arts. Give a crap yeah. to make his make our artwork. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, Checho. <laughs> we'll thank our cast. So thanks, DJ. You're the boss. Thanks, Joe. You're the sheriff. Thanks, me. That's weird. I'm Beth. Thanks, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank the ladies behind the scenes who keep us all sane during the week. So thank you, Crackhead Blue. You're a gem. Thanks, Dorothy Fielden. You're my mom. Also, thanks, Penny. You're one of my best friends. I heart you. No. Mm. But most of all, of all of the people we're thanking, we would never want to forget our listeners because without you, why do we do this? So thank you so much for listening to Thanks for Watching. As per usual, make sure you wash your hands, uh, wear your mask. If you're going to get vaccinated, do your vaccination thing. Uh, Don't lose your card, because I guess that's important. And, uh, you know, above all, be excellent to each other. Okay? But he spit in the cooler. I love it. It's not good. I admit it. Go ahead.